So in this example, Tom had five times as many marbles as Jonathan. After Jonathan bought 30 more marbles and received 35 marbles from Tom, both of them had the same number of marbles in the end. Okay, this is a keyword, okay, same number. And the question asks, find the number of marbles Tom have at first. Okay, so now, since the question says that both of them had the same number of marbles in the end, I can draw two equal models over here to represent the number of marbles they have in the end. Okay, so remember, right, now we are working backwards. Okay, so because the question says they are the same number, so these two models must be the same length in the end. Okay, so now let's work backwards. Okay, since uh, Jonathan bought 30 more marbles, to work backwards, you need to minus away 30 marbles for Jonathan. Okay, so over here, you shade this part away. Okay, because remember, right, right now you're working backwards. So when Jonathan bought 30 more marbles, to work backwards, you have to minus 30 marbles here. Okay, you shade here. And here you also cut here, but you just put 30, okay? But you don't shade. Alright, now what happens next? If Jonathan received 35 marbles from Tom, okay, in other words, out of here, there will be a 35 marbles here that actually came from Tom. Do you understand what I mean? Alright, so there will be 35 and 35 here. And because you are working backwards, you have to give this 35 back to Tom. Okay, because this 35 actually came from Tom. Alright, so you shade this part here. Alright, and this part over here will shift over back to Tom. Alright, which is 35 over here. Okay, do you understand this part so far? Okay, I know it's a bit confusing. Alright, so let me explain one more time. Okay, because the question says that Jonathan received 35 marbles from Tom. Alright, so in other words, you need to give back these 35 marbles back to Tom, okay? To find an up to find the marbles that each of them have at first. So 30, this 35 here you must shade this part here. And from here you must extend by another 35. Okay? And now the question says that Tom had five times as many marbles as Jonathan. Right, this is this will be the model at the start, right? So from here to here will be five units. And the this part over here will be one unit. Okay? And so from the model we can see that if here is five units and here is one unit, from here to here will be how many units? That's right, the answer is four units. Okay, so four units will be thirty-five plus thirty plus thirty-five, which is one hundred. So one unit will be 100 divided by 4, which is 25. And now be careful, okay? This is the part where students get mistake. Alright, you have to read the question carefully and answer it well, okay? You don't want to lose marks in the end. Okay, so to find the number of marbles that Tom had at first, okay, remember, right? Tom at first has these 5 units over here, right? This is representing the number of marbles that Tom had at first. Okay, so to find 5 units, you need to take 25 times 5 and the final answer will be 125 marbles.